So, welcome back. It's been a while since I uploaded last. Um, but we're back with the development series now. Uh, today we're getting the Gangs plugin done. Well, starting on the Gangs plugin for my server, Prevail Prison. Um, the IP and the Discord links for my server will be in the description below if you are interested in joining it. Um, it released into beta on the 1st of this month, and the beta's ending uh, on the 1st of next year, unless people want me to extend the beta. If people want me to make the beta last another month, then I will, but um, I don't plan on that. So, yeah, um, I've already recorded the first two episodes. I've only edited the first one, though. Um, the second one, I took a different approach to it. I... I um, did the speed coding, but then whenever it got to testing the code, uh, instead of doing a voiceover, which is what I'm doing now, I recorded the voice at the time of testing it. So you got my kind of, you know, uh, live thoughts of what was going on at that time. Um, so yeah, uh, let me know which one you think is better, but obviously you're probably gonna have to wait to see the second video before you can really give an idea. Um, but you can kind of already get an impression of what the second one's going to be like by the description of it, I guess. So, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, in this episode, we're just getting the creation and deletion of the gangs, as well as um, some utils done. Um, and in case anyone else codes and they're wondering, uh, and they're going to say, you know, you don't save the data or whatever. I know I don't save the data. Um, in fact, two hours into coding this, I still have, I still don't save it because it's just easier for the time being to not save anything um, and add that later when I need it. Because at the moment, you know, I don't need to save any of the data. So the video is at eight times speed, except for when I am testing it, which then I decided to put it down to four times speed. Uh, although in the next episode, the speed coding will be eight times, but the testing will just be uh, normal speed. So the original recording for this was an hour. Uh, and as you can see, I've edited it down to about 10 minutes. But that's primarily just because it's at, you know, eight times speed. Um, not a lot has been cut out. The only time things have been cut out is when I'm sat there thinking and not doing anything. Uh, but that's only happened a couple of times, if I can remember correctly. So, the first uh, bit of testing here. I was just reading that to see if the text was what I wanted it to be. And I also tried to create a gang, but it didn't work because I forgot to do that part of the add the player to the uh, list. So now I've added the player to the list, I'll go back and test that quickly. And it, if I remember correctly, it works this time. Yeah, you can see it worked there. So now I'm just um, editing the message because I didn't like how it looked. Um, it had too many of the kind of bootleg bullet point things. So I fixed it, but I guess I didn't uh, give enough of a pause for you to see that I fixed it. And then here I'm just testing um, all of the checks on the gang name. So things like uh, the length of it, if it's between 4 and 12 characters and also if it's only containing alphabetical characters because uh, I didn't want people creating gangs with numbers or colours and things like that because uh, anytime I coded a gangs plugin before people would always put colours into the actual gang name which uh, obviously I didn't want. So now I'm just adding a uh, 
part which saves the time which you created the gang. And uh, all times in any of every of my plugins is uh, in GMT because that's the time zone I'm in. Um, you might argue that you know you should do American time because more people are probably going to be American playing on the server, but I will stick to my own time zone because it just makes everything easier for me. And the server is also hosted um, in the EU, which is closer to me than America, so it makes a bit more sense in my opinion. You know? to use my time zone rather than an American one. So that's me just testing the uh, age and when it was created. Um, one thing I need to do is make that item in the fifth slot update every second because the age needs updating. But I'm not too fussed on doing that. I'll probably do that if people ask me to do it because it's not that big of a deal really I don't think so another thing that I always had an issue with previously when I made gang plugins was the promotions and demotion commands would never work so I'm hoping I can get that working this time um, so I have members and recruits, although later I do change members to officers because members, in my opinion, is kind of a general name for everybody in the gang other than the owner. Um, so to call one of the actual parts members is tricky because then um, what do I call general? Well, what, what do I call everyone? Uh, so yeah, I change that later in the next episode, but it states as... Uh, members for the rest of this one So there's also quite a few things that I can't test yet um, As I don't have the invite part coded which won't come till episode 3 uh, I can't test you know any of the promotion or demotion uh, I can't test um, things that I do in the second episode like block breaking and uh, and Invitations and kicking. So I'm just doing the delete gang part now and I've set it so that only the owner can delete the gang. So anytime you see me tab into Minecraft quickly like that it's commonly me um, working out what slot the item should go in. Uh, it might look a bit random but that's what I'm doing. Um, it's a lot easier to see the GUI and kind of count it than just think of it in your head. And then here I'm doing a uh, 10 second timer. So after you click the create gang and uh, well and or delete gang buttons in the GUI, um, you have to you, you have to insert the name within 10 seconds. Otherwise, it cancels it. Just because um, if I didn't do that let's say that it went on for ages and it went for like an hour and then you decided to say something random and that happened to be your gang name if you were deleting it then your gang would get deleted or if it's uh you creating a gang then you might just you know randomly type a word or two and that would name your gang to that so obviously we don't want that to happen and then i'm just coding the uh util to delete the gang there And then this is the chat part to uh, when they talk, it should equal that the first argument, which is just the first word, um, should equal their gang name to delete it. Otherwise, it tells them 